Hello everyone, my name is Toaster Arts and welcome to the Banner Saga, and this time I have a surprise for you all. Hi, I'm the surprise! Joined by Cedrico Suave, um, we just talked and decided that he's just gonna be part of the channel now, so it's gonna be me Yay. and me and Cedrico here. We're gonna be bestest friends playing the bestest games. Bestest games. With uh, the bestest friends. Um, so we're going back. We're back in the Banner Saga. Um, I, I don't know. Have you have you been paying attention to this? I've I've watched the first couple of episodes. I haven't gotten around to like catch up with where you are now. With uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, All I so know is it's beautiful. We're back with the story of Ubin. Um, we went to Rook's story, Rook and Alette's story before, and that was really quite tragic, but we're gonna jump back into Ubin's story right here, so let's go ahead and let's talk to Ubin, and we're actually playing as Hakon now. So, you knew him well, didn't you? Vognir? No. Oh, well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business, but I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did, in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Val listened. I knew that. I could use help there. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. So, Scrivener, uh, this guy, I, I guess, was is a tax collector? So, Ubin's a tax collector, actually. This guy <laughs> is a tax collector. I would, I would pay him taxes. Uh, I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right vowel. Morgul's Mul got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. Uh, you consider what to say next. Um, uh, what are you always putting that down in your journal? I heard you were ter a terror in your day. I heard you were a terror in your day. Yeah. Do you know how old I am? 502. 502. <laughs> I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old we all can get, naturally. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me. Just hunkers in Grafheim collecting rhyme. Bastard might actually beat me. Another one named Krumrer is close. I think, but he addled son of but the addled son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. He'll probably be off before I am, although the Scrivener gestures around him as though you remind him of the current situation. Oh, wait, no, as if to remind you of the current situation. Wow. Wait, so are you Hakon right yeah, now? Yeah, I guess we're playing... The thing with this game is that it goes between... Uh, it goes between, like, two people's stories. So, like, like multiple people's stories. So it started off, we were Ubin, and then we went and we were Rook, <coughs> and now we're being Hakon. So, hence the journal. Uh, hands don't get fancy on my behalf, Hakon. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, get some rest. Always more marching to do. I hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Wow. I'm pretty sure my voice changed like three times. It's fine. During my rendition of Ubin. We, it's acceptable. I'm pretty uh, sure it was way different than So how you did we it. can talk to Moger, I suppose. You might as well. Why not, right? I'd ask how you're dealing with Wagner's death, but I already know the answer. No, <laughs> steady old Moger, which is good. I know, I know most of these Varl, but they're not under my command. They came to follow Vognir. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Oh my God, it's perfect. Deal with it. <laughs> uh, you think we're walking into a death trap? <clears throat> this many Varl? No, we should be all right. Things could get rough, though. I don't like being the one to send Varl to their deaths. I like worrying about myself, and that's the extent of it. Who would have expected Vognir to drop like that to a couple of slag? Still wondering what happened. He had hundreds of dead slag to his name. I don't get it. Just happens sometimes. No big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Although, I have to wonder. Nah, no, never mind. Anyway, I'll worry about the warriors. You worry about not doing something stupid. That's asking a lot. Wow, you self-deprecating. Oh. Yeah, really. What were you holding back about? 
I'd rather not say, Aegon. I actually think I have a good idea of what that might be. It's the kind of thing that gets stuck in your head. And you need a clear one. It's better if you let me worry about it. I have a pretty good... Sounds important. How did Vogner die? He ran into Dredge. Wasn't expecting it. He just ran into it and died? Like... When we found him, he was lying face down like he was struck from behind. Did he really get taken down by some random slag? Who else was there? You, oh, yeah. So that I he's suspecting the same thing I am. So when we found um, Vognir, he was dead on the ground, face down. And the only other person around besides the dredge were, was this guy Luden, who I loathe him. Is that the butt face dude from the first playthrough, the beginning? No, no, oh. no, 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 no. He's the prince. Oh, he was ugly. No, this other guy is just a snarky bastard. Anyway. Uh, damn it, we should keep an eye on that bastard. Haha, <laughs> see? Bastard. I will. Uh, let's get back to it. Okay, cool. Uh, so... Um, we can check the map, we can go to our heroes, or we could leave. Um, is there no market? I guess not. We have Let's check our heroes soldiers. to see if we can, um... <clears throat> coffee, coffee, coffee. See if we can level them up. Aha! Moger, I can level up. Let's do that. Confirm. So, give him two points, let's give him more armor. He breathes funny, like only his upper chest extends. It's weird. I suppose. Oh, there's the butt face dude. Irik? Yeah. He, he's, he's so ugly. But he is ve he's a very good unit to have. So let's give him... Then his face kills all oh. the dredge. Just looks at them, gives them that face, and they just fall. Uh. Ugh. Okay. Like, he looks like he's in the middle of Can like, Gnolf? No, Gnolf cannot. All right. Uh, so I suppose we're off. To see the wizard? The wonderful wizard of the Varl. Yay! Let's go kill Luton. Off from Vedrafell we go. So, do you know about... So, this is the cool part where it's kind of like Oregon Trail-y. So, like, random events pop out like this. Look at that, says Moger in the hills. No, more, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as a rush up there and slaughter them. That's dozens of dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You asked him why he started to care about Strand. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. So that's Luden. He looks like a uh, pompous ass. Send some warriors to take care of it, or we'll deal with it ourselves, or Strand can handle that. I don't think Strand can handle that. Send some warriors. Yeah, let's do that. Will do. Hopefully they'll be able to catch back up to the caravan. He rushes to find some volunteers. Luden and his men are not asked. Yeah. Uh, you return to travel. Plus five renown. Minus ten Varl. Looks Considering like we had 400 and whatever. Yeah, say so it looks like you got quite a bit to spare. All right, here we go, Luden. Econ. <laughs> That's the exact same voice I have for him. <laughs> Good. You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp for the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? Yeah, look at his look at his face. He's just got he's he looks like he'd be in Slytherin. He he is a Slytherin. We can try. It seems clear to me that you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way. Am I right? Uh, you're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume that only the Varl can fight. Do you understand me? This is my banner we fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arborang. I insist on joining the battle. Almost gutted in your first encounter and ready for more? Whatever you like, Prince. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, I expected more resistance. From Wagner, maybe. They tell me you were his kinder. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin, Val thing. Don't you take on his responsibilities? And uh, uh why the tough act, kid? <laughs> Don't look down on me again. Don't you dare. When you nearly 200 ye when you're nearly 200 years it's hard to take a 20 year old man. Is that right? Seriously? You better not. We'll both be king someday. The last thing I need to worry about. 
blah blah blah. Luden looks at you as though he you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. All right. Why did you punch yourself in the face? I don't know. Oh, on exertion. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't look over this important stat. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three exertion lets you add three damage to every attack, or move three spaces further than usual if you've got the willpower for it. Whoa! Yeah, so... Oh, hello. Who? New lady. Who are you? <clears throat> Is Ursa, right? She watches you approach with her held t head tilted back and points a thumb towards Luden's tent. No, here for you. That that take on. Oh no, here for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I got. Can this. we talk? Isra shakes her head. No, a smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. You don't. Uh, in those cur two curious, contradicting words, you get two impressions. She has a beautiful obsidian voice, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> and this might be a complete waste of time. Uh, it's about those flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Varl and Fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. <laughs> if you're going to use them... She pulls an arrow, there's a flick of the wrist you don't quite catch. Suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls. Holy shit. Half the camp is turned to wash. Don't tell me not to. Don't you just love that obsidian beauty? Your Luden's bodyguard? No, here's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles abrupt and loud. And then looks slightly embarrassed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> personal guard, though, blah, blah, blah. Her expression changes to, of course. Mm -hmm. How did you end up with someone like Luden? Luck. You don't talk? No. You, you do, though. I don't. <laughs> well, this has been fun. Until next time, Isra. Isra. Hey, come. Ursa, I guess. You stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. Way to just fucking drop that. Yeah. She puts her forefinger to her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Okay. Well, now we know who to burn. Hashtag Salem Witch Trials. Hashtag. You have a moment? As you approach Bercy, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book-reading type. You're Bercy. Oh, hey, Con. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? Bercy is Bane. Apparently so. I, I had some questions. Say what you want to say. Um, where'd you learn to fight? Same way as you, by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed well-protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Not anymore? I've had a lot of jobs. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends on what you mean. <laughs> this guy is Bane. <laughs> Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself and you'll figure, figure it out. You'll figure it. Bane knows English. Does does Luden understand that? Luden doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. What's a far? Uh, yeah, I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, old leader of Varl. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Luden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there was a bit of a threat behind that gravelly request. Well, the voice was kind of gravelly. Yeah, it was kind of gravelly. Yay! Uh, actually, can we? are we using them? Are they fighting with us? Oh, yes, they are. You got the witch and the prince and the butt face. What is he? He's Warhawk. A Warhawk. Those guys are really good. Siege Archer, Spear Master, Warden, Warhawk, Shield Master. Okay, so we already have a Warhawk who's better, Gnolf, so we're not going to use Bercy this time. Well, he wanted, he's where he wants to be. He doesn't want to fight with you. Yeah, well, this is this is true. The thing is with this game, which makes it kind of complicated, is you can only use six units in battle, at least so far. Uh, so, yeah, let's get leaving on the road. On the road again.
And we're off to the races. Do, 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 do. Akon dies of dysentery. <laughs> you overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stop to stomp some slags as much as the next Varl, but I didn't join up to take orders from Hakon, says one. Apparently, he doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him, either. Um, Blindside that dude. He's a dick. He's talking to you, like, very fucking crap about you. Very rudely. Yeah. All right. You push toward the Varl and grab him by the horns. With a full force of your body, you plant him to the ground. Law of Kender means you are willing to die for me, you miserable son of a cow. He chokes out something of an agreement, and then the others step back warily. As you approach, step away, you hear his friends laugh at his misfortune, and soon others join him. Boom, boom. I, I feel like that's going to bite me in the butt. Maybe. Yeah, the thing is, is the decisions in this game um, is... Uh, is like They affect they, you. Yeah, they affect like, the future. It's like Fable. Kind of. A small gathering of tents come into view, a group of merchants uh, from the look of it. You ask what they're doing here. We're camped out at the Godstone. We were camped out at the Godstone ahead, one tells you, leaving an offering to Dengler, as one does. Dengler. Wow. <laughs> His expression turns dredge, start appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed, thought, it would, thought the Godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Assure them Strand is clear and see them off. They thank you profusely. One man stops as he pauses. If you're passing by Dangler, do me a favor. My wife's brother stayed behind. You'll know him by a necklace with many rings on it. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You nod. After a short time, they continue on. A necklace with a lot of rings on it. Yeah. Oh, so your morale... So, one thing that can happen in the game is you have day's supplies, which is basically the same... Oh. Which is basically like the same as, like, um, Oregon Trail. Um, right. and you're, and depending on how much you rest, your group has morale, and the more morale you have, the more willpower you can use in okay. battle. Okay, cool. The caravan slowly unexpected, slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line, at t and then Tomogar tells you, Dredge know we're coming, probably saw us back in Vedrafell, and did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we had plotted into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch, watch you, waiting to see what you do. When's the last time you commanded a few hundred, hey, few hundred, hey, con ass, oh, Hakon asks, oh my gosh. English, man, English. No, don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. Uh, War, oh, this is a new mechanic. Okay, when you call and cost more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. Would give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties, or you can take burden on yourself with a harder battle, but save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run and avoid the battle completely. The dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There must be 447 of them. You have 185 fighters. 77. Four, 477, what did I say? 447. Oh, uh, whatever. You have 185 fighters and 456 Varl at your side. I think you're gonna win this. From here on, you see nervous glances amongst enemy rent lengths. This looks like a good ch chance to press your advantage. Uh. Charge! Why not? Let's see what happens. Yeah. Consider. You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge. Oh, I guess like this is like your statistics on who's got a better group. Oh, that's cool. Um, I will. Th it will. Uh, you consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into a thick of battle where the fighting is most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Rush into battle, man. Just take them on. You gather your allies and tell them to get ready to lead the attack. So I get. Ooh. Yeah. Um, this gonna get good. I really like Warhawks, and Luden's kind of a bitch, but he's got a really good like attack range. Screw it, let's just do a Luden. Why not? All right. Loading, 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 loading. Combat time. Loading, 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 loading song. Loading, 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 loading. All right, we begin. We begin. Um, Formation-wise, this actually let's do. So the dredge are just machinery, right? Are they are they actual things inside the? the I don't know, because they weren't created by anybody. They just sort of appeared. Um, 
That looks okay. All right. Uh, well, let's uh, let's get started, I guess. All right, we're gonna start here with Hakon. Go over here. Walk up to this guy. Let's attack him. I really do love these animations, though. They're really cool. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, let's do let's do that. So. Ooh. Boom! Headshot. And the guy behind him took extra damage as well. I'm not sure how the I'm not sure how that works, but I just sort of accept it. It depends on how big of a badass you are. Uh, what does bring the pain do? Break damage, break damage to the target, and plus one return to favor for one round. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know exactly either. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attack his shield for three because that guy's got a lot of shield going on. So do you you know how, do you know how combat works in this? Uh, watching the first episode, yes, you can attack their shield, like their armor or their health, and you, the more armor you get down, the more the easier you get their health. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I know smarts. Dredge Scourge. Okay, here's Eirik, also known as Captain Ugly, as you like to call him. Butt face! But Face. He's got a lot of willpower, which I'm willing to spend to... Boom! Oh, that guy's coming for you. Oh. Yeah, he's doing four to Gnulf. Gnulf is really <coughs> good. Um, we're gonna go over here, and we're actually gonna... Can we kill this guy this turn? Yes, we can! Luden, you show your usefulness. Oh. And another one bites the dust, and I got renowned from that. I actually killed one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now you got the I have witch. no idea what she can do. She's got. She can light birds on fire, so I'm assuming. Slag and burn. What does that do? Explodes in a five tile area, leaving two coals. Uh, but do your allies take damage to that, too? I'm gonna guess, yeah. Okay, so she can't really do anything, so you're just done. For the turn. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're attacking. Ah, senor, but much. <laughs> wow. Alright, you go over here. Da, 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 attack. Actually, what's your other ability? Sundering Impact. 100% to hit, plus one strength, plus one break to target, plus one break to heavy impact. Uh, no, nah, that's not worth my time. Let's just go ahead and chop him into little bits and eat him. This guy looks kind of scary. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's. Oh, but he took one damage doing that. I don't know how that happened. Um, let's go ahead and go over here and do bring the pain on you, even though I so I did two damage to his armor. Then I didn't seem to do a lot. Oh, he just hurt his own guy to do that to you. Did he? Yeah, because the he, he, uh, other dredge dude got knocked down too. All right, I'll take it. Um, we're gonna go over here and let me show you what this is. This is the best ability. Check this. Ready? One, two. So, are you... Eh, oh, I didn't, oh. didn't really see a lot of the best there. Okay, But well, I believe you. It was there. A 90% chance to hit? I'll take it. And he got a promotion! Yeah, the music in this is just absolutely epic. So if your characters died, do they actually stay dead? No. Which kind of takes some of the strategy out of it. However, what can happen is you'll be like, say you have like a random event come up, uh -huh. and this already happened to me once. Um, like, a, oh yeah, see, Gandalf oh, yeah. is down. Um, wh what happens in the combat is if you're if one of your characters falls in combat, actually, let's do that. To right. Yeah, it looks like it's not gonna hurt anybody on your own. There. Oh, cool. That was kind of awesome. Um, so, what what happens is you have to, like, rest them after a few days because they're injured and they'll get crippled in battle if they don't get rest. Oh, and that can really screw your team over. Yeah. Um, do I want to do that or do I want to attack this guy or this guy or this guy? Or this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. Uh, I want to attack this guy. And let's do that. Bring him down to one. Why not? You got the guy behind him, too. Yeah. I guess they just run out of charge or something. Like, So they're robots. They're yeah. They're totally robots. They must be. Like, I don't see any other option. 
I guess we're good. Oh, we deflected, deflected it. it. It's because he is so because his because his strength is so low, he's not gonna be able to do like the damage he needs to to these guys. Okay. Oh no! Oh wow! Wow! He just fucked her up. Yup. Uh, okay. Sir Ludin, can you please? Alright, and he got a promotion. Pillage! Now we're on pillage mode. What does that mean? It means that everybody attacks all at the same time. Oh. See, see, instead of like a turn by turn thing where it's like my turn, their turn, my turn, their turn, now it's how many guys can I hit this guy with? Okay. Can you get pillaged too? Uh, I guess. I haven't had that happen to me yet, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that being really bad. Mm hmm So, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and Hail Mary this as much as possible. If I could learn how to click something. I believe in you. Um... Okay, we're over here. Attack! 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 Dead! Bada boom! You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dreads would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items. Okay. Dude, kill a few more. Uh, yeah, but two of my guys are injured. But it says it w chasing them down will rally them and save their lives. Save more lives, rather. You have, you end up save a few of your army's lives, but my people might be. What? Well, you want? Well, are you sure it'll like go back to them battling? Or? I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Kill a few more or pull back? I'm still on kill a few more. All right, fine. You attack any dredge still brave enough to face you. Oh, so you get three more, and they're not even major ones. Yeah, but there's still it. It's still the whole idea is just not. Granted, I don't know how this game works, so I'm just kind of talking about that. So. Basically, like I went from whatever combat I had, whatever penalties I had. Like he still has three health. These guys are still at whatever health they're at. Reflected it though. Yeah. I believe you can do it. I believe you can make it right. You can make it right. Hopefully. Oh, Luden. Oh no, that's not Luden. That's uh, Iris. Iris gonna take some damage there. He only took one shield damage. Yeah, but the dredge are very difficult. Oh, there's one guy. There's oh, there's one over there. there. Oh, there's. Oh. oh! Can I. Oh, so that just gives more willpower. Okay, this could. Alright, so. This could end better. This than could end wor way worse than I thought I was gonna. Oh. Well. Because there's still. Four more. Why do you listen to me? I don't know. I, I don't didn't know, know how to play this doing. game, and you're taking my advice. Okay, that's a terrible idea. Luckily, luckily, like Hakon is just a tank. Oh yeah. He just one shot at that guy. That, yeah, Hakon's a monster. He's in the flex. Oh no, he's no, he's not. not. Oh, he's dead. Ah. Uh, see. I got an achievement though. Congratulations. Half your party's dead. That's your achievement. I guess. Um. Do um and who's going next? You are. So why don't we go over here? Oh wait, no. Oh, I fucked up. Did you you done goofed? I did done goof. You done goof. Oh whatever. He's gonna do three to him. Oh, four. four. Okay. Oh god, I. It, it is literally up to freaking Hakon at this point. <laughs> Attack you, boom, big bomb. You should have Hakon go after the big guy. Unless you can't reach him, so go fuck up that little guy. So I guess that just gives extra willpower. Um, That's always nice. Dead. That big guy is gonna kill Irik. Yep, called that. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Alright, Luden. What is. Impale. Knock back one tile. Target bleeds, one strength. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright. Go over here. You're so uh. close, I believe in you, Tyler! Alright. Oh. Oh, yeah, hit. Just hit him again. Oh, God. It's so scary, though. 
Uh, oh, you uh, got this. You totally got this. He's got so much armor. Okay. You okay. totally got this. Uh, I hope so. Maybe. Oh, they're hitting, they're hitting hard. I have nerves in your... Uh, uh... The tension is rising, as only two of each um, party remain. Impale. Who will win? The mighty Varl. Oh, he deflected. Or the ravenous, mechanistic, that's not a word, dredge. Okay. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's a word or not. This is... Uh, this is... This is insane. bad. No, you got this. You got this. It's so scary, though. I have a nerves in here. Okay. Um. Impale again. Full knockback. And he's gonna bleed, so, like, it's a little bit more. Okay. Hey, okay. Have hey contact the big... No, I'd rather kill that. So then I'm in, um, I'm in pillage mode. Okay. Oh wow. I, oh, I totally, what just happened? I totally thought he was just like, gonna bring that other guy back the way he was facing. No. Oh, you totally. He's only got three health. But he's like a yeah, he has so much armor is the problem. All right, here we go. This is like. All the Hail Mary in the world right now happening. Oh, there goes Hakon. Luden. Oh, Luden. Oh, why did it oh, have to be up to Luden? It's up to me to save the day. Oh, and I tried my best. Oh my god, this oh is my. horrible. This is... Oh. Look at all the bodies. Look at oh. them. But it looks like I still save the day. <laughs> the fact that we won with Ludin just made minus two fighters, minus four Varl. Double win bonus. Clansman lost zero. Fighters lost two. Okay. How many renown did we get from that? Oh, wow. 19. Is that a lot? That is a, quite a bit. Considering you only need five to level somebody up. Oh, okay. All right, uh, well, let's go to camp, and uh, I guess we e end this episode here after war. War. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like the series so far. Yeah, love us. We'll, we'll love you back. Yeah, and uh, thanks for joining me on the channel now, Cedrico. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yay! Yay! Bye. Bye.